Right, so we, we're in a location of a, a river, a tidal river, and the banks are muddy, and we're targeting thin lip mullet today with a special method using an indicator and our fly of choice today will be a team of flexi worms so this method was developed and put to use firstly by Joshua Allen a good friend of mine and also put into practice by good friend Tim Tim James but I would like to share with you guys a a little bit about my setup for the thin lips fishing over mud. Um, so nice long handle net comes in really handy. So you can, um, in this case, it's a 2.2 meter landing net. Um, a stripping basket, you're fishing over mud, your fly line will get all muddied up if you need to make a cast that is over two rod lengths out. So it's going to take you through my leader setup. We have two flexes here. Two flexi worm patterns, which are ideal for the conditions, the location, the conditions we're fishing at, which is um, a tidal river with muddy banks. Right. So my leader setup consists of probably about six to seven feet to the point fly, an indicator, a bung, and a team of flexi worms, about three feet of tapered leader. To the bung and then we have our fluoro another three feet to the first dropper and then another two and a half three feet the crucial part is that they've just got to be on the deck if you watch mallet they're going going around on the bottom so i'm just seeing a few fish in that little bay there and waiting for the tide to push in a bit more and bring them closer to where i'm fishing um, it's pretty dangerous environment it's very muddy, so you do have to watch out for where you walk. Um, but yeah, just waiting for the tide to come in and bring them in closer within casting range. They are making their way through around this point and into this little creek. Uh, the trouble we have here is it's a little bit too far. If I was to make a cast, they will land on the on the mud and it'll be just difficult to deal with the fly line for, for the following cast or, you know, it'll be all over your hands. So, yeah, we're just waiting for them to get, get a bit closer. Hopefully that will happen. I'm gonna try a longer cast. If I can do it, I'm gonna just try a longer cast with this glass rod. Uh, so, we have some fish moving around the indicator now. And um, if I do get a take, which will be a sail away or a dip, um, I, will, I will do a strip strike set as I'm about five rod lengths out. If I was covering fish a bit close, I would just lift the rod and straight into the fish. I'm using a glass rod which you get a better hook set with glass rods. I'm sure most of you fly fishermen that do dry fly will know that it's, um, it's brilliant for hook sets. Right, I've got some fish moving about near the area. I've got to keep an eye on the indicator. If it sails away, it's a fish on. quite far away and we're losing the light so I gotta keep my eyes peeled for any movement I'm tempted to recast but I'm just gonna leave it there and wait for them to come in closer another reason for using two flies is on these creeks that fill up you get different depths you have like a gradient and by using two flies three feet apart, you have a chance that one will always be on the deck. That's a good tip that my friend Tim gave me.
Right, they are getting closer, it's exciting stuff. We just have to make sure that we strip strike on a proper sail away take. Sometimes, sadly, you do foul hook them, but most of the time, well, 99% of the time it's in the mouth. I may have to recast because the take is taking a little bit. They're feeding just another feed or two above the area quite frantically. So I may need to, oh, we got some fish closer. We'll keep an eye on that bunk. In mullet fishing, you need a lot of patience. Whether it's waiting for the take or waiting for the fish to come closer to you where you can cover them. So, I mean, I guess in any fishing you need the patience, but um, you need a lot of patience for mullet fishing. It's very exciting stuff. Most of the time you cast into shoals of fish, feeding frantically, competing against each other. 